Hello there, guys, and welcome to uh, Back to Agnes Exactly Average channel. Um, we've got a new game here called uh, Trigon Space Story. Um, so this game is um, is kind of like uh, they were they were inspired by uh, Faster Than Light FTL. Um, this game comes out on the twenty eighth, uh, so two days from now. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, the devs were kind enough to send me a key a uh, little early so I could have a quick go on this. I've, I've had a couple, I've done the tutorial and had a little go on the game. Uh, it's by a small uh, developer called uh, Cerner Tech. So thank you very much for the key from them. Uh, we're just going to jump straight into a campaign, do a sort of first 15 to 30 minutes of the game, uh, give you an idea, uh, and then I may come back and do a few more videos as well. So let's jump in. Um, no, we've done that. We've done that already. So we're going to pick the humans because that's all that I've got available at the moment. So here we get to choose. We could add, uh, put diff this is who we've got for our uh, crew. So we've got a pilot, we've got a hyperdrive operator, and we've got an engineer. We have a rocket launcher and a twin plasma turret. Um, there are going to be other ships that we unlock as we go through the game. A lot of other ships that we unlock as we go through the game. Uh, so there's plenty of content by the looks of things. Um see, that's what systems that we have at the moment. And that's it. So let's just jump straight in. So here we are right at the start. So after shaking off another Venator patrol, you're trying to understand what's going on. The local communication hub um, uh, makes it clear that there's a bounty on your head. It would be a good idea to find a safe place until the dust settles. Your friend Ronnie from the asteroid belt knows best how to get around. Okay. Oh, sorry, how to go to ground. So um, something's up. Okay, so this is our ship. I'll put the game for, for a minute. This is our ship. So we have our pilot over here. We have our different sections where things are. So we've got this is our oxygen uh, generation. Here we have our hyperdrive. So we want to make sure that our hyperdrive operator is in the hyperdrive room. The engineer, we'll leave them on guns at the moment, but we'll probably move them about a bit. And then we have our, um, our pilot at the front uh, controlling the ship. So up here we have our hull points and our shield. Our shield regenerates, our hull does not. Um, we have our credits, which are the currency of the game. We have a scrap, which is kind of another currency. So that's basically used to upgrade the ship and do different things and, uh, and buy um, other stuff as well. We have our supplies, so each tur turn we generate two, but we lose six. And that's because each of our uh, current people eat uh, two uh, food per turn. Uh, fuel is each hyperdrop we use the fuel. Obviously, our speed and, uh, and pause here. This is our bounty. Um, so the higher the bounty level, the tougher the uh, um, battles and the more likely we are to get attacked. Uh, our evasion for the ships, that's percentage we might miss uh, projectiles. Uh, oxygen level in the whole ship and the game day. So in here we have, uh, sorry, down, down the bottom we have, uh, this shows you what sort of things we have. It also shows you the uh, the boosts that we have by having a person working in that section. So for instance, in the hyperdrive, because we have this hyperdrive person in here, uh, we get plus 2% to evasion because it's got a, an operator in there. But we also get um, plus 50% hypercharge hyper drive charge speed uh, because he's a hyperdrive operator. Med Bay we have turned off at the moment. You can turn things on and off or take power out. Um, so I can take one out of there and add one into there to turn the Med Bay on. Uh, we have a life support module, uh, arm armory module. So And because it's controlled by the operator, we get plus 10% uh, reload speed. Uh, then we have our gun with all the bits and pieces on there. So these ones we have to are uh, things that we can turn on and off. These are our basic systems. Um, so that's the airlock system where we can open all airlocks or close all airlocks. Uh, we have our sensors. Um, so we an operator will give us plus one sensor efficiency, but we don't have anyone in there. And then bridge, we have plus twelve percent to evasion because of having a um a pilot in there. So yeah, so that's sort of a brief rundown. Then we have our management, so where we can, so for instance, we can buy uh, an extra energy slot with 90, 90 uh, scrap. We only have five at the moment, which is something we're going to want to do because we're going to want to beef, beef up our um uh armory, our weapons but also have enough to be able to just leave on 
the um the med bay if we want to then in here you have your crew uh, so you can hire more crew and you can uh, upgrade the crew that you currently have and in the cargo hold we have nine rockets uh we have our food our fuel and our and our scrap so that's a brief rundown so first thing we're going to want to do is press this button here and we're going to jump somewhere so the game wants us to go to here let's see what's uh so let's have a look at the legend for what that is so that is an asteroid belt okay so that's fine the solar storms are really dangerous they're really really bad for us so we want to avoid going to going to there um so first place you want to go then is over here so basically you just click and it boosts, uh, teleports you over there so you don't know what is waiting for you on the other side the signal is too complex and unclear to decipher but the risk may be worth it. Okay, the local system is a graveyard of ships. There's a huge number of massive hulls uh, from different ages, uh, ages of the galaxy. It's an amazing sight to behold. Might be a good idea to explore the place. So we want to search the ships. You decide to switch from the signal for a while and search the ships from different eras. You find a lot of useful gadgets for flying, maps of different systems and old weapons. Some of your finds will only do for scrap, but at the same time, your crew has become more encouraged for fresh adventures. Excellent. So we've got 67 scrap from doing that. So let's teleport back out of here. We want to go over here. Ooh. Oh, but it's a space station. What's that? Uh, that's a pulsar. I kind of want to go to the space station. So we'll go and see if we can buy anything while we're here. As you fly through the system, you come across a trading station. Usually you can, you can exchange resources or buy something cheap at such places. You fly to the station without a second thought. Maybe this time you'll find what you need. Okay, let's have a look in the space station. So in the bar, we've got bar, shipyard, uh, and trade. So let's have a look in the shipyard first. So we can get tri cha cryo chamber, drone control, charges automated drones for attack or defense. Stealth module would be nice. Let's have a look in the bar so we can hire new people so there's a medic there weapons operator he would be very nice medic warrior weapons operator so both level one repairs 0.5 speed there's nothing special about either of those and in trade we could sell some things we should it's not really the best for us at the moment. I'm tempted to buy this drone control module. I'm going to get that. So ensures the functioning of your drones. Upgrades will allow you to charge more drones. Drones are automatic, automated robots that are able to attack enemy ships and crews repair and crews repair systems and extinguish fires. So we've got some drones. Now let's see if they've got. Drone replicants. drone replicants help you create and activate your drones during a fight. You can get some bombs and mines. So I think let's buy. Ten drones. And then let's leave here. OK, so I think that should. So let's get the. Okay, so let's take one off there and put that on. No, we can't do that yet. Okay, we've got the drones for later, so it's not something we can do at the moment, but we need to get up to here anyway. So let's carry on. There's an enemy ship waiting for you in the system. This will be a tough fight, but then again, are they ever easy? Every fight brings you close to the goal, and this one is no exception. Okay, so we've got a fight now then. Let's see what this ship is like. So, Apollo 14. It automatically pauses you when you get into a fight, which is good. So, these have... Is that drone module? That's the bridge. Okay. Armory, airlocks, shield generators, hyperdrive, medbay. So, let's go at the armory first. So, we're going to activate this and fire it there. I'm also going to activate the uh, rocket. And fire it there. I'm going to put it on auto fire for the plasma turret, but not for the uh, rocket. And look after the rockets as much as possible. Massive man up there, hold then. Okay, so you need to go into there and repair that. And 
Doing very well here. I'm going to fire a rocket. This with the rocket. One. There we go. Got it. Okay. You can go back into. You destroyed the enemy ship and teach them a lesson. On second thoughts, if no one survived, there was no one to teach the lesson to. So our bounty raised, but we did get uh, some credits, a couple of food, some fuel. So that's a decent haul to start with. So, whoops, didn't mean to do that. You can go back in there. Mm -hmm. You're finished on those, so get back in the hyperdrive. And then it's charging. So the pilot is not in position. Oh, so he's fixing that room. There we go. Oh, that one needs fixing as well. But we'll jump anyway while she's fixing that. So we need to go to where they... So these are gatekeepers to get out of this sort of uh, sector. Um, and then that takes you into other areas. We're not going to go out there yet, but the, the gatekeepers are really, really hard to get uh, to get past. On your way to the asteroid belt, it becomes clear that there is something wrong here. The stations are silent, no ships in view. You notice strange emissions on your sensors that emanate from a waste recycling module. So, where is everyone? I need to find Ronnie in this whole mess. Stat. So, what we can do is we can send one of our crew members to examine. Or, this one's like a skill check, basically. So, the same sort of thing that you would have on, um, uh, I, don't, I don't know, uh, on, on a uh, Oblivion or, or Elder Scrolls sort of game. So, uh, yeah, it's just it's same, same as that. Uh, so, we're going to do a skill check one. So, we send the engineer. We send an experienced engineer. You send an experienced engineer to figure everything out on uh, out on site. The engineer walks through the station along its technical tunnels, describing to you uh, strange triangles on the walls. Later, he finds a tertechion. I can't pronounce that. A tertechion uh, in an irradiated location that brings it and brings it on board. So we've got scrap, we've got some supplies, nice, nice. Uh, the asteroid turned out to be a slaughterhouse. The answers are hidden in, inside Lucky Ticket. According to the signs on his body, its number is 21, 31, 14. And will be hard to it will be hard to turn on. Half of its brains had burnt out. You need to find someone who can restart it, despite the ban. It would be nice to find a uh, Tertikon that has already uh, reconsidered its life. It looks like you'll be able to go to a pirate station. There is another place where you'll be able to find a Teoticon, uh, uh, which can turn another robot on for money. Okay, so we've got now we've got a new uh, mission, which is into the pirate's den. Okay, um, let's see. So we're doing okay on food and everything else. Our pod uh -huh. is a bit low, which I'm not really happy about, but we should be okay for now. So anything that you do in the management section, if so, for instance, if I put an extra one onto there now, it's going to cost us a day. Uh, and sometimes what can happen is uh, during that time, another ship can appear and attack you. So sometimes it's okay to do it. Sometimes it's best to just avoid that entirely. So let's go back the way we came. Go by the space station. So I'm tempted. I wonder if we can buy that for credits. Ah, oh, we can. Okay, so we can spend credits to do that instead of scrap. That's actually much better. Okay. Have a look at trade. Do you have any drone? There we go. Hector Mark 1 laser drone. 710 credits. Okay, so let's save up on our credits. And um, we'll come back here to get a drone next time we come through this area. So now we want to go there. So what's the solar storm? So we don't want to go there. We want to go to this one. I've noticed our bounty is going up every time we're doing one of these jumps as well. A pirate station, when you're usually disguised as being... Un yeah. 
sorry, they are usually disguised as being uninhabited. If it hadn't been for your old connections, you wouldn't have got uh, have had to look for it much longer. Approaching the station, you begin to feel the sense of adventure. The station is in chaos. Gambling, forbidden pleasures, illegal goods. Somewhere in this mess must be a Teotihuacan hacker you're looking for. But when you begin your, but where to begin your search? So we could buy a lottery ticket, talk to smugglers, take a walk around, or play a game of poker. I'm going to play a game of poker because I'm hoping that we get a bit of extra cash out of that as well. So hey, Admiral, they, hey, Admiral, they say the Venators are looking for you in all systems. Did you miss a deadline for some forms, and are now a public enemy? You wouldn't be the first to fall victim to red tape. Come and tell me about it. So we could punch him in the face, or we could explain the situation. I'm going to explain the situation. You tell the former friends and acquaintances what sort of deep shit you were in. After a couple of hours playing, they tell you where to find the Teotican uh, hacker. Besides, Lady Lucky is smiling on you today. Ah, so we won the oh, we won the um uh, the poker then by the looks of things. <coughs> that does mean that we now have enough to buy the drone that we wanted. So that's that's amazing. So at the address, you find a small workshop and an old Teotican. He immediately figures out why you're here and demands a pretty penny for a luxury ticket. So we can play with resources, pay with credits, offer help in exchange for repairs, or we can use our engineer and check the price with him. So your en engineer is shocked at the price. He raises some good arguments uh, and proves that the repairs could be done much cheaper. Te Teotican reluctantly agrees and offers to help you for nothing. Lovely. So we get that for free. Brilliant. Lucky ticket bounces back. It tells you about the events of the station. Two Venator ships enslaved almost everyone there. Anyone who resisted was killed on sight. The lucky guy regrets having uh, committed suicide. The very thought of it feels reg feels reg the very thought that it feels regret about a successful suicide sounds odd. However, it didn't want to lose its memory unit, so it chose to burn itself in the recycling module where no one was likely to stick their nose in. Okay, so now we have a new uh, a new person on our team which is called lucky ticket uh and popo is his name i think and he's a hyperdrive operator that's annoying because we have two of them now but he's a much better hyperdrive operator so let's put him on there and you can go to shields but we do have some level ups so let's see what we can get from these so we got a uh, hulk or assault body so basically you get one of two things that you can choose so unit health or incoming damage i'm gonna get rid of the uh, i'm gonna take the incoming damage because you sometimes have people come into onto the ship and they board you, uh, and it can be quite painful. So let's give this guy extra health, and uh, main guy lucky. So avoid taking any damage with a probability of fifty percent. That's a really nice, nice thing to have on him. So okay, so let's go. So now what we have to do is we're supposed to get over to here. Now we have to go through some really bad things to get there. But I kind of want to go back to the station. So let's go back over that way. Our food situation is not good now as well. So let's go in here. We want to buy a drone. Oh, they don't have drones now. Okay. All of these are no good as well. Let's get one more power. No. no. I'm going to use scrap for the power. So let's leave the space station. Let's get us another power and fix up the ship for 145. Okay, so that's taken a day. We're going to have to go back into it. You've been pacing the bridge all day long, anxiously looking out the windows every 10 minutes. No one has come to help you out today. Okay. So let's see if that's changed what they have in here. No, it hasn't. But we do need some food. So if you hold down shift, it adds five at a time. Oh, it's expensive. Okay. So that's a load of food. Let's go looking for some people to fight then. Can we not move out of here? Mm. 
we can't go anywhere. What? And now we can move. That was weird. I've never, I've not seen that before. The issue is now, though, we're completely out of food. So we're going to have to go and buy a load more food. Just buy all they've got. Ah, drone. Oh. Okay, so we need 155. Sell all our scrap. There we go. So we get the drone and we have all the food. But we're out of scrap. That's fine. Okay. And now we'll go into management. We can turn on the drone. So it's an offensive drone. Lovely. Okay, let's go. So we need to get over there, but we need to go through some stuff that we haven't been in before. So let's have a look in this nebula because we wanna we're not gonna be strong enough to fight that guy yet. One of the Atari ambassadors hails you. He says to, uh he asks you to deliver an important message to an ambassador in the next sector. Judging from his expression, he's holding something back. Okay. You agree to forward the report to an open uh, and open a comm channel. Suddenly a virus infiltrates your system. You've been tricked and your ship is being used as a transmitter. Bloody Atari. Okay, so that's just made us... Uh, made us in more trouble. Right, so let's get out of here. Okay. Iraqi patrol hails you. They asked you to help them make sense of a Teotihuacan uh, manual for their new equipment. They have trouble understanding it themselves. What should you help them? So let's send over the uh, our crew member that's got that. So it easily installs the weapons and returns it to you. Uh, sorry, and returns to you. This is when the Raki decide to attack you. But the new weapon explodes on the ship and eliminates the entire crew. Excellent. Better not entrust it with setting up new weapons on our ship, of course. Ah, oh, man, that's loads of loads of money. Brilliant. Okay. So, let's go and have a look here. We haven't been here yet. Uh, bounty is getting really high, so we're probably going to get attacked quite soon. When you jump to the system, you witness a strange situation. The Venice ship is tar lo target locked on the, the old station, except its flags belong to the defunct Human Federation. Let's go have a look. The station commander hails you. He introduces himself as an admiral and calmly describes the situation. Greetings, Traveller. Don't worry, it's just an abandoned Venator ship with a patrol beacon. We use it to keep Venators out of the system. Shall we have a chat of, uh, Have a chat over a mug of capacitor fluid? So we can dock and talk to the Admiral. Try to steal the beacon or ask for help with the repairs and the mission. Yeah, let's do that one. You briefly describe your adventures. Without a second thought, the Admiral provides you with aid and passes uh, the word on to friendly stations to look... Uh, it looks like you've made a lot of new friends. Excellent. After all, humans are supposed to help each other, right? Good luck to you, and I hope everything works out. Oh, amazing. So we've got 60 hull repairs, loads of drone replicants, fuel supplies. Excellent. So uh, that's the first uh, sort of few minutes of this. I'm, I'm going to carry on playing, so I'll put another couple of videos up. Um, but thank you for coming. If you like it, the link will be in the description. Uh, if you wouldn't mind massively helping me out as well, and get, if you like what you've seen, if you give me a like, subscribe, um, uh, it helps me out no end. So thank you so much to everyone who already has. Uh, check out the other videos on my channel as well, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.